Hello. Oops. <laughs> Good start. Um, Windows 8. The Windows 8 Consumer Preview came out yesterday. I, no, March 1st, I think it came out. And uh, straight away, I downloaded it because I have to admit, even though I'm a Mac user, I was, I am quite excited about Windows 8. I think it's um. It doesn't look too bad for Windows. It looks a hell of a lot better than anything else. But so I downloaded it straight away, and um, I've been fiddling with it for a day or two. One thing that's really annoying me, but they'll probably fix it later on, is um you, I can't s sign into Xbox Live at the moment because it's only available in Japan for some reason, the U.S., France, and Germany. Now, now if you're gonna uh, if you're gonna let the Japanese, who has an Xbox in Japan? And France and Germany, the UK is um, a big cent. Whoops, it's gone off again. A lot of people in the UK have Xboxes, and it's just I don't I don't know why. Maybe it's just a technical hitch. I don't know. But I just want to show you a few cool things in Windows 8 Consumer Preview. My first impressions, as the title says. So. This is the lock screen. This is what uh, comes up when you first log in. You've got your date, time, and whatever you want down there. Like I have uh, mail as well. If I have um, a message, it'll just go by there. But I j don't have a mail at the moment because I've just read through it. I've just got the Wi-Fi by there. What you do to go into your uh, desktop is just scroll up. If you have a password, you'll have to type it in. There we go. And um, we're into the start menu. Right. I've moved the icons, or slates, as uh, Microsoft like to call it. I've moved the slates around a bit. And um, there, is, there isn't much on here at the moment. The store is looking very promising, I have to say. There's quite a few cool things on there already. So, this is a desktop. It's very Windows 7 um like people have um been going no 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 mixing metro and aero preferably i agree with that but you've still it's a desktop os you've got to have a desktop otherwise it just doesn't doesn't work without it but i don't like the fact that aero mixes with metro it just doesn't seem it seems like two different things if you know what i mean but that that's this this is all the same, pretty much. Um, so, you're on the desktop by here. You want to go into the uh, um, start menu. You go into the bottom by there and press start. So, you're in into the start menu. And you've got all your applications. Well, not all of them. The ones you want to pick. To right click. And then go all apps. You, all of your applications you've uh, got on your computer are displayed on here. You can choose to pin them to the... Uh, to pin them as a slate, or you can choose to unpin them. Pretty cool. I only have ones I use, to be honest. There's no point in having 7-zip help on, on your um, start menu, it's just pointless. So, so far, it, it's it's been very fluid. I can't play game my games on it yet from Windows 7 because, uh, of course, there's been no graphics drivers for it. But um, I don't know how they've done this uh, graphics driver because it's like it's very very fluid and it's not running off anything. If you know if you know what I mean, there's not a driver for this. <sighs> there's not a driver for the actual car that's in the computer yet. So I don't know how they've done it. But you've got a cool, f a cool. Oh my God. Another bad speaking day for Niall. <laughs> you have your calendar here. This is it's, it's all very um, similar to the Xbox and Windows Phone. It's all very, very... Like, you've got your big titles up there with your arrows and, you know. It's all very like that, and that's what they're getting at. They're trying to link all of the devices into one. Um, the weather app is very, very nice, I have to say. Um... They take a while to load at the moment. Hopefully they'll um, speed that up. But that is just beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful. And then, oh yeah, I haven't shown you this. Right, all your apps are open. So you want to get back to your start menu, you, you just stick your mouse in the bottom left corner. If you want to see all the apps that are running, just move your mouse up into the top left corner from the bottom left corner, if you know what I mean. Um, there's the calendar. Go back to the weather, to the desktop, to the calendar, to the weather, to the desktop, and back to the start menu. That, that's quite nice, but it does get in the way, especially on this side as well. Right, you stick your mouse in the bottom left or the bottom right, and this little sidebar comes up with uh, settings, start, share, search, and devices. Say so you're on your normal desktop, and you're in Google Chrome, and uh, you want to get out of it. You go up there, and that comes up. Now that has already become a nuisance to me. I don't like that. That's annoying me already. So I don't, they're going to have to do something with this. But it is a beta, so you can't expect everything to be perfect yet. So the Mail app is quite nice as well. Nowhere near, near as good as um, Mail on the Mac, but this is, this is still nice. I've got no messages at the moment. But, yeah, it, it's all pretty good. It's a pretty... I'm using this as my primary OS now because I've actually like... I like it so much. This is already, even though it's only the beta, by far my favourite Windows experience I've ever, I've ever used. I've used Windows 98, Windows 2000, <laughs> XP, Vista, 7, and now this is just leaps and bounds ahead in my opinion it's just so much more fun to use that is one of the most uh, important things to me whether that's why I've that's one of my biggest crit what's the word critiques against Windows I suppose it's not fun to use Mac Mac OS is just so easy and fluid and lovely and lovely to use and uh, Windows has always felt a bit bog standard and boring but they, they've tried to spice things up you can tell that much this is this is quite nice as well people you can connect sorry about that you can connect to your social networks twitter google plus facebook and microsoft and all of your contacts come up integrated so you can just talk to them or message them or email them or whatever you want to do or tweet them uh, it's, it's really, really good. This is one of my favourite apps. And then you have um, your own profile there, and it gives you what's new and uh, all notifications and stuff like that. It's a really nice app. And then, this is another really cool thing. One of the last things I'm going to go on to now, because this video is starting to get a bit long. So quit an app, drag it from the top, and just throw it away. Throw it away down there. That's quite cool. I like that. Um, let's go back into the weather app. Now, say you want two applications open at the same time. Again, drag it from the top, stick it on the side. Now, you've got the weather displaying some info by there. And then by here, you've got nothing. So, say you want, uh, I don't know, your desktop. Now, this is awesome, guys. This is just so nice. So, you can check your weather or check your emails or whatever you want or keep the calendar and you could be web surfing it's just really really awesome football federation of ukraine okay that's weird anyway let's go back to the start menu what this is the last thing i'm going to talk about now the, the way desktop operating systems are going uh, although i do love this it seems like it should be on a tablet and i know the Metro UI is primary, uh, primarily for a tablet or a, not a phone, a, a, a touch-based uh, PC. But this is also a desktop operating system, and I do have to say, I, I don't like the way desktop computing in a whole is going. With Mac OS X as well, they keep on adding features from iOS. I'm on about Mac now. They keep on adding features from iOS, especially in the release of Mountain Lion now. It's just more, t to me, I know I'll probably get really hated for saying this, but to me, Windows 8 and 
Mac OS X Mountain Lion, it looks like desktop computing is turning into a more bloated version of the mobile platform. And I don't think I like that. But this has just been my video on uh, my first impressions and little cool things you can do in Windows 8. It's a really, really nice operating system, and this is only the consumer preview. Um, I like the UI, but I don't like some of the... They've kind of tried to make it too simple with all the mouse things. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll just have to get used to it, but... It, I'm, I'm liking it, and I'm using it as my primary OS on my Windows machine now. Um, yep, yeah, that's it for now, guys. Also, after this video now, I've got two videos to upload very soon. I've replaced the hard drive on my PowerBook, because if you watched my um, other two parts of the PowerBook saga, especially part two, um, the hard drive was dying on it. So I have replaced that since, and now he is running Leopard like a dream. <sighs> See you later, guys. Bye-bye.